Welcome learner. My name is Shivaji Deepnath. Today I will be discuss about conditional programming with PHP. In this topic, we will be know about what is the conditions and how it work in the programming when we are doing some logical things with programming so that time we are using conditional programming or logical things in our software programming language okay so when we are using any kind of software programming language and that time this conditional syntax almost is same so if you are watching this video for as a beginner and if you wanted to learn about software development knowledge so you can follow this video and you can learn about some basic things about php programming and this concept will be work any of programming language what you wanted to choose in your software development process okay so it is the common factor for every software programming language so don't worry about that and if if you wanted to learn about everything on this topic so watch this video till the end and you may learn about so many things about software development process okay so let's talk about conditional programming so conditional programming when we are using some kind of conditions and logic when we wanted to use in our programs so that time we can use conditional syntaxes so this is our conditional syntaxes mainly this conditional syntax comes from if else this is actually main conditional syntax if and else and with the if and else after if using the first bracket and here we can use any conditions if you want okay so you can use any kind of conditions in this positions okay and this conditions are uses with the variables data variables is the data storage part when we are using or when you wanted to store some data in our software and that data wanted to check it is properly required or not and it is valid or not so that time we can use if else conditions okay so for that purpose we can use this conditions process okay and it is also have different variant which called single state conditions because they have only one key to check that value for the particular this conditions are meet with the value and that types will be fired after the case means it's called switch case switch means switch are holding the variable name and case check the values where are variable value or case value are matching or not if variable value and case value are same so that kind of conditions will be success and after then that kind of process will be done after then the matching conditions okay so this is called single state conditions or switch case condition okay otherwise also we can use single line conditional process in our software programming language and it's called ternary operator ternary operator uses for single line condition process okay you when you wanted to set up your conditions in a single line so that time you can use this kind of conditional syntaxes or conditional process this is the single line conditional process and here you can use a conditional syntaxes here in this bracket and after then you can use question mark here have two state if you wanted to have any true value assigned here so that value will be assigned for this variable and it's this conditions give us false value so that type we can get false value in this variable and after that we can using this variable for the output purpose okay so when we are using any kind of conditional part so that time we need about some operators it's very necessary when we are using any kind of conditional programming okay so that time we just need about this type of conditional operators like equal strict equal strict equal is so many programming language are uses or not uses but it's have strict equal if you wanted to use so you can do that this is called not equal and and it is less than it is greater than it is less than equal it is greater than equal and it is not so this kind of conditional programming are uses in our programming languages any kind of programming language if you want uses so that time you can use this kind of conditional syntax and operators okay this is our main basic things of the software programming language any kind of software programming language if you wanted to use any kind of conditional syntaxes so this is the mainly common part so it's the main fundamental part now we can create some examples for this now we can see the examples right now here so here I have some prepared some examples as per discussion okay so here number one example is first thing we are if we wanted to check some conditions in our programming so that time we have to three part are required first part is the variables declaration with the value so this is actually first part of the programming so first we need to be assigned some value in the variable part and that value need to be compared with the conditional operators okay and after that we can get 
some output from that statement process so this is the second bracket which is the using for the statement process so here we can get some statements from this section so this is the first example if here is $50 so you have only $50 so it is maybe fair it is maybe money you can anything about write this section so okay it will be better if we are using this variable called money so you have only $50 okay so after then example 2 have same thing and here we can use fair 50 so fair 50 means here if you wanted to travel somewhere so that time you wanted to get some travel tickets and you need to be choose as per your money which you have so that time you can select the process or you can get the ticket as per your money which is available which you have so that time you can choose like this so if you have here less than hundred dollar so that time you cannot travel with a flight so actually if you have thousand dollar less amount to so that time you cannot flight but you may go train but actually it's not mainly problem is if you have hundred dollar less amount so that time you cannot travel with flight but you can travel with train okay that means if you have less than fifty dollars so that time you cannot travel with train and you can travel with you can choose other way but you have more than hundred dollar so that time you can travel anywhere actually i was used wrong conditions as per example so for that purpose i corrected it so you can travel any vehicles okay so this is the actually main topic where we can use the kind of examples okay that means if you are enough money you have 150 dollar as a fare so that time you can travel any vehicles okay but if you have less than 100 dollars so that time you can not travel with flight but you can travel with train but if you have less than $50 so that time you cannot travel with train you can choose other vehicles you have more than $100 because here have less than we are choosing these conditions but if you are choose less than conditions 1 or 0 so that time you can choose these conditions but if you have more than $100 so that time these conditions will be changed like from the above so that time you can travel with any vehicles anywhere you can travel it is the actually logic of this program okay so this is the second example if you want to check about this it is correctly working or not so that time we can right click here and open in integrated terminal and now we can run this file in our php console tool so that time i can use cond.php and now we can check about all these conditions okay so now we can check all the conditions in single line process because uh, here have every everything in the single line so now if we want to get next line process so that time we need to use this syntax this syntax are uses for next line okay so now i am just set up it all outlines i need to be set up uh, want to see this after the line so for that purpose i just set up it every everywhere okay um now i am using this here okay so it is actually whole process and now we can check out this okay so when we are checking the first example so that time we can get yes we have 50 dollar money so for that purpose you can check out the you have 50 dollar only if you have 51 so not this conditions will not shown here okay now currently it not be shown here because exact 50 dollar you have so that you can see this message that means it, it is actually visible so it is actually exact same that means it is the equal and second thing is if you have less than 50 dollar and 50 dollar is the less than of 100 dollar that time you can see this message but you cannot see this message in this part okay so that means if you have forty dollar so that time you can see this message here okay so now okay so that means you can travel um, with the train okay actually condition says this fear is less than hundred and it also be greater than fifty then this conditions will be properly work that means we need to be get output from this part but it is not working properly because I have using forty dollar 
color as per fair so i wanted to see this conditions and currently this conditions not visible in this output line so we can use right now this conditional process because this amount are less than 50 dollar so that time we can see this output from this program but if you have 140 dollar so that time you can get the output you can travel with any vehicle so as per required we can see the output in this program but if you wanted to see as a 10 dollar here you can see this conditional part only because this conditional part are matching exactly which conditions are match this conditions are match with this value for that purpose we can get the output like this but if you have a 60 dollar now so that time you can got the first part in this conditions okay so this is the actually second conditional examples when you are using the programs in our programming okay now it is the third example and third examples you may get trophy if you are win so here is the checking process is win so is win equal to yes that means if you are win so that time you can get trophy and if you are not win that means if you are use anything here so that time you are not win trophy so that means if you are blank here so that time you are not win the trophy okay and you can also write no here so that time also you can get same message and this is the actual exact condition if you use as a win with the key yes but if you wanted to use as a true means is win that means it's a checking yes or no so that time you can also use it like this only and if it is true so that time yes you can win trophy and if it's false so that time you can not know you can not win the trophy so this is also another way to win the trophy okay and if you have only true so that time you wanted to see win the trophy okay because you have only see but here i have previously discussed not operator so this time we can use not operator means if not win then you can win trophy means it is actually not proper way but if you use as a not sign like this so that time it is the actually true that means here yeah, have true but that means it is actually false so that time you can see this message so if i check this message with the next examples copy so i just use this examples like this and now i just flip the conditions with this process so that time you can see this message okay that means what is this that is true actually when you are true so that time you win the trophy okay but when it falls means actually it is false so that time you can get the message no you are not win the trophy that means if we are getting same message same in two examples so that time we can get same message for the two examples because this time it is actually true so that time we can get the true output but when we are getting the true output so this is the actual true that means if it's false so that time we can get the output like this and if we are using false here and it also same so that time we can get this output in the from the else part but this time we can get the output from true part because we are using the not here that means if are not match that means it's true so that time we can get this output from this here but it is actually get from false part so both both of the output are same but conditional assignable process are different okay so i think you may understand the process what kind of not operator are using in our programming language when we are using the syntaxes and right now this is the example 4 and this examples are called switch case conditional process switch case is a state where we can check the variable as per value so if we are using saturday or sunday as a day value so that time we can get only our output this is the weekend and if we are using the witness day so that time it's called working day okay this time you can get the output as a working day but if you use any another name here so that time please choose the proper weekday here okay so that means these values are not match with this conditions so that time we can get the default value which are not matching with the value okay so this is actually for example where we can see the output what is exactly did now we can see in example 5 and it's called traffic light variable where we can see the traffic light as a green so that time yes you can drive now if you are not see it green no you cannot drive now so this is actually 
what we can wanted to know about from this message so for that purpose we can check out the output process from this conditional syntax and this is the actually conditional operator where we are checking the conditions it's okay or not actually that means it is true or not so that time we can get the true message and if we are not the proper match in these conditions so that time we can get the false message so right now what yes you can drive that means this is actually message what what kind of message if you want and if you use any other thing here so that type you just get the another message no you cannot drive now so this is all the conditional process where we are using most of the programming if you are working as a software developer so these things are so much basic fundamental things and these fundamental things you can use any kind of programming language when you are working in your software programming part so if you are uh, learning lots of things from my video so please hit the like button and share this video with your friends and family and if you are new in my youtube channel so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and i will be meet with you next informatic learning videos and till then watch my videos so keep learning keep growing